Chris Menard here. Let's take a look at hiding rows and columns. I do this all the time at work. And the reason you would want to do this is maybe there's confidential or sensitive information that if you print it, make it a PDF file, no one else needs to see. So we'll look at hiding, show you some tips for unhiding. One cool tip to see where hidden rows and columns are located. And then we're going to dive into splitting your screen so you could have multiple scroll bars. And again, I do this quite a bit at work. In our Excel file, we have certain data that if you're in payroll or possibly in human resources, it is okay to see. Column D has social security numbers. Over in column L, we have employees hourly pay rates. And we probably need to hide both of those, but also someone could take the total pay in M divided by the total hours and figure out the hourly pay rate. Let's hide social security number first. Just simply right click on column D in the right click menu, left click on hide. Column D is hidden. Notice it goes A, B, C, E. That is how you know it's hidden. I'm going to go ahead and highlight two columns and then hide them at the same time. Click on L, pull over to M, right click and hide. Those two columns are now hidden. If I was to print this, hidden columns or hidden rows, I didn't do any hidden rows, but it's the same steps, right click, hide. They do not appear when you go and print those. To unhide everything at one time, I would do select all in the top left, right click, unhide. I'm going to do an undo. If you only want to unhide one column, just simply highlight C over to E, right click and unhide. And now my social security number is back. One more undo. Quick tip for you. If you ever get a file and it's not yours and you're curious if there's hidden columns or hidden rows, just click anywhere you want to in the data. Go do a control G. Control G will pull up go to. Select special and you want to select the visible cells only. So when you select visible cells only and click on OK, notice between C and E, that little white space, and also between K and N, that is letting me know I've hidden columns there. Click one time. I am going to go and unhide everything at one time real quick. You can also split your window, something I do occasionally. I want to see last name, first name, and time card number over here to the left, but I want a second scroll bar. So I've got the scroll bar down at the bottom. I want a second one. I'm going to go to column D and click. Go to the view tab, the window group. We have split. Click it. Look between C and D, there is my split. I've got a scroll bar over here to the far left at the bottom, and I've got a scroll bar over here to the right. I'm going to scroll to the right. So I could have hidden these. What I'm trying to do is come in here to column in, type in. There's some data that I need to put in here, but I don't want to have to keep looking all the way to the left and then back to the right. So I may sometimes split my screen and then I can decide right here, I can start typing in data here. Back to the left, there's the split. To remove the split, go and either click on the word split at the top or if you put your mouse on the split line, just double click it and it goes away. One more split for you. I have a total down here. I've already done this in cell M57. If you don't see it, just do Alt equal. And there's the total right there. I'm going to click on row 56. And here is a split here. Again, two scrolls, but now they're vertically. I can scroll back up here. And I can scroll in this section also. One more time. This time I'm going to click on the word split and it goes away. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell and be looking for my Excel online training course out in June 2023. Have a good one. Thank you.